Well, we are following up on a fatal shooting that happened on the 4th of July when a man was killed by Indio police. That man's family spoke exclusively to KMIR 6 News. Jitzel Puente has their story. Good evening. I'm outside AutoZone on Highway 111, where friends and family of Ernest Foster will gather tonight at 8 p.m. They will hold a small candlelight vigil in his memory. I hate this happened to him, you know. He has three kids. He was 37 years old. Lisa Foster is mourning her brother's death. Ernest Foster, known to his closest friends as Man, was shot and killed by an Indian police officer on July 4th. They haven't even given us any answers yet. We don't know what's going on with the investigation. And they expect for us to just carry on like if it was nothing, you know what I mean? But my brother was somebody. The incident happened at 1.30 p.m. outside AutoZone on Highway 111. According to authorities, Foster was armed, and when police confronted him, he ran away. When the officer caught up to him, a confrontation started between the two, and then the officer shot and killed him. Now, the body hasn't been released. Investigators just keep saying that he was shot. Well, we know that part, but what actually happened? Natasha Burrell is a family friend who, along with Foster's family, wants answers to his death. Meanwhile, she remembers Man as a nice and helping person. He was just a funny man. I mean, somebody that can make anybody laugh. At the very least, they want his body released by the coroner's office so that they can do a proper funeral. But tonight, they'll have a vigil to remember the good times with Man. Just about my brother, just all about him, you know, remembering him, you know, because that's all we can do right now at this point. Again, the vigil starts tonight at 8 p.m. His family welcomes anyone who knew him to come by. Live from Indio, I'm Jitzel Puente. Back to you in the studio.